Welcome to the Tea Pad. Hi, my name is Whitney, and I am CEO and founder at Josephine and Billy's. And I'm Ebony Anderson, and I'm COO. Okay. Our store is named Josephine and Billy's to pay homage to Josephine Baker and Billie Holiday, two women of color who were persecuted for their cannabis consumption, and yet they used their art to fight against injustice. They rejected the mainstream and they broke their own rules, all while holding the door open for other women who would come after them. And for us, that is goals AF. In the 1920s and the 1930s, black people still were not allowed in speakeasies. So a tea pad was their version of a speakeasy where the who's who of the time would come together and exchange ideas and smoke cannabis and also consume alcohol. The term viper actually is used to describe the sound that cannabis consumers and tea pads would make when they're inhaling from a joint. Gauge, an old term used to describe a pipe, but later became the signature phrase for cannabis in a tea pad. We call our bud tenders herbal wellness advocates. When women enter, they are greeted by an advocate that will help them navigate the store and learn more about cannabis. Josephine and Billy's is designed after a traditional speakeasy or tea pad. There is a secret entrance and a secret password, and that is really important to our community because it is a safe and sacred space to use cannabis.